if you aren't using AI in part of your photography workflow, I don't know, you're hiding under a rock or maybe you've got something against AI, which I'm sure you will tell me in the comments, but it's my job and I think I'm doing a lot of people a favor by keeping you up to date with what's happening. This new AI photo retoucher, I think you're gonna like it. Skylum, which is the company that brought you Luminar Neo. I have done videos with Luminar Neo in the past. I don't even know how to explain Luminar Neo because it does to photos what your imagination does to what you see and it brings it to life. And of course it does a lot of the basics like you would expect throwing in a raw file, changing the color exposure, lots of denoise. One of my favorites is magic lights where it just starbursts all the lights in the photo and then you can really relight the entire photo including lighting effects. I mean Luminar Neo it was wild. I mean way ahead of its time. And now Skylum that brought you Luminar Neo has come out with a photo AI retouching program called Apperty. I actually have no idea what that means, so don't ask. But hey, maybe Skylum will be in the comments and they'll let us know what Apperty means. But here's what you need to know about what Apperty does. Apperty is a photo retouching program. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, we've seen a lot of these. Why is this one different? And here's what I think about it. First of all, it's a subscription software, at least as far as I know. Sometimes these things change and that is something that a lot of people really wanted. Secondly, Apperty does not require an internet connection to function, which is great for me because I'm constantly editing on airplanes and the last thing I feel like doing is paying for Wi-Fi just to do photo editing. But let's get into some of the features. Aperty does what you would expect from photo retouching. It's focusing on portraits especially. So things like skin retouching, facial features, those types of functions are what you're going to find. Let's go over some of my favorite ones that I have really found to be a high quality retouch. Let's start with skin toning. Skin toning is one of the most irritating things that you have to do in retouching in my opinion because people's hands are a different tone than people's necks are a different tone than people's faces and then all of it is a different tone than any of your subjects actually wish their skin tones would look like. Well Aberdeen is going to handle that for us. You can make subtle changes to the skin tone of specific areas thanks to an accurate facial skin segmentation model meaning you can remove the red hue or unify the overall color between face and neck and body. And of course, it's got a state-of-the-art face mesh model providing a unique makeup correction capability. Now, what is that face mesh? It is next-gen technology where there are about 4,000 dots placed on a face, which is about 20 times more than most competition. And because of those dots creating a mesh over the face, it can move and adjust so many parts, making sure that an accurate account for the depth and dimensions of the image and the person in it. Next up, we have eyes. Enhancing eyes is a big one, whether you're just brightening them, removing red veins, maybe you're retouching dark circles under the eyes. Aperty has got a lot for you in the eye enhancement area. One of my favorite features, aside from the studio light, which is something we saw in Luminar Neo and you're seeing that here even more enhanced in Aperty. What you can do is change the bokeh control element. So you can make those backgrounds more bokeh-fied. You can make them look larger than life and absolutely creamy and gorgeous. And as you come to expect, you can adjust bodies as well. So I always like to say adjusting bodies is one thing, but make sure you have permission or you understand what your subject or client actually wants in that area. Don't go crazy retouching someone's body without them specifically saying that's what they want. Because really with a program like Aperty, the sky is the limit and you can do so many things to photo retouch in a way that's not going to destroy the rest of the photo around. Now I'm going to read straight from the press release when it comes to privacy because I don't want to put words in their mouth but I want to talk a little bit about what you can expect. So Aperty has cutting edge synthetic data set generation. Aperty's AI models have been trained using synthetic data ensuring that creators original work remains secure and addressing some of the common concerns among photographers around privacy privacy and intellectual property. 
I think that's a big one for a lot of people that haven't exactly been AI evangelists in the past. The blemish removal that AppReady has is really just a duh, of course it has something like that in there, but it also has presets and LUTs so that you can color grade the image right in AppReady as well as do all of that retouching. I mean, overall my experience with AppReady is honestly minimal. I've used it on a few different portrait sessions. And like I mentioned before, the quality of the photo retouching that's coming out of this program is stellar. All right, so I know I just showed you a bunch of things that AppReady does, but I wanted to come in to these photos. You probably saw me editing them, but I wanted to show you exactly what I noticed with the photos. Some of the things I specifically liked instead of just giving you an overview. I also wanna show you some of the things I think that AppReady needs to work on. So first of all, skin toning, it did a really good job. I do think, and this is not necessarily with AppReady, but in general, I'm just not one that loves to add the makeup. Like I just, I think it looks ridiculous. <laughs> That's just me. Uh, makeup is really difficult to add, but it did a lovely job with all of the skin smoothing and body skin smoothing and tone unifying. And that was really lovely. One of the things I like that's a little, I don't know if it's meant to be a big feature or not. If we come over here to this, I don't know what it's called. We're going to call it the magic star. Uh, this was pretty fun on the bottom, this high key section. So I did a little bit of a before before and after with this. And you can just see how it's just adding that brightness. Now, the thing I like about this is it didn't overexpose the whites, but it added that almost light and airy style that so many people look for. It didn't look great on like every single photo. So if I go to this one, it wasn't bad, but it also wasn't like the right photo for it. So let me show you a quick before and after. So there's the before, there's the after. And to me, it just washed out the skin tone. And you may or may not have noticed this glow. So I figured out that that glow is from when I did the body reshape down here. So if I hold off, and again, this is a beta, I can tell just because I'm clicking on buttons and they're not super responsive. So it's a beta. It's gonna be better when it actually comes out to production level. But you can see right there, that's just a little bit of an error um, then you see this kind of outline that error that changed so i expect that to get better with the actual version and not the beta version but i didn't want to create a video and not tell you that right i just i would find that to be kind of dishonest now this one i messed around with a little bit i messed around with the studio light because that was interesting to me and i know a lot of people will use that obviously we're not going to go crazy but if i just add a little hint here i click show on canvas and what happens is i can move this light around just pretend this this little ball is my light, right? You can see as I move it, now it's on the right side of her face or I'll make it on the left side of her face or more up. I can essentially relight this scene and I can even change the depth of the light. I can change the hue and the coloring. And again, it's, you know, how much is necessary, how much are you going to actually use in your workflow? This is the whole scene here. So you can really affect the entire scene, which is kind of interesting. And I did it a little bit with my background. So the background here, I had darkened down quite a bit. That's where it was naturally. But being able to lighten or darken the background, I think is pretty powerful. And then I will say this one eyeball, uh, this was really interesting because I don't know if it totally got it so if i do my before and after you can see the blush on her you can see how it changed the eyes right you can see how it smoothed out that skin tone but it did not smooth out the actual pores in her skin and i'm wondering if it's because it's a half face so just some things to look out for other than that you know everything i went over in the video totally stand by it let me show you this quick before and after of tatum because you wouldn't even notice that i did that much of it unless i showed you the before and after and i think that's actually a good thing, right? We don't want to retouch and be so overboard. So there's our before, there's the after. It's just lightening up little things. Like I enjoyed how it took the catch light she already had in her eyes and just enhance them, right? Little bits. So that's it. Just wanted to show you all the different things that you can do here in Aperti. Of course, you can check out Aperti and probably a little discount code or something in the link below. And of course, this whole video was sponsored by them, but they don't put words in my mouth. My experience right now is I'm liking that I don't have to connect to the internet in order to use it. I like that it's protecting 
intellectual property for the photography community. I think that is absolutely huge. Now, I don't particularly like a subscription model, but that's just me. I don't like subscriptions in general, but if I'm using enough, is it worth it? Yes, a million times over, it's absolutely worth it. I tend to like to pay per image, but I think I'm actually alone in that. Most people like to have subscriptions and use it to their heart's content. I will say the speed of it is not blazing fast, but I've only had my hands on the beta version, so I'm sure the speed is something that will be worked on continually. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this and know I will be using it more and more, especially as they enhance it, add new features, and get faster. So check it out in the link in the description below. Let me know what you think if you've gotten your hands on this program, and I'll see you next time. By the way, I'm Vanessa Joy. I take photos.